Hey guys, my name is Max and welcome to my movie channel. Uh, today's video, I want to start kind of like a new segment on this channel just to tell you some, you know, stories about my life, funny stories, scary stories, or just like unbelievable stories that have actually happened to me. I'm going to call it Coffee Break. Since I will be drinking coffee when I'm telling you these stories. Sometimes I'll have a shake, so I might call it Shake Break. Uh, also, check out this really cool shirt from John Carpenter's They Live. Super awesome shirt. I just got it, so I'm really happy to have it. Anyways, guys, so for the um, first episode, I thought I would tell you um, two very funny incidents that happened with um, my dad at the movie theater. So this took place in New Jersey um, at Mega Movies. That was the name of the theater. And it's been shut down like since 2010, I think. But this took place like 2003 or actually maybe 2000-ish. And um, it got shut down because it had like asbestos and everything in there. So it's not really good. But the story I'm going to tell you, the first story is pretty funny. At least I thought it was. So it was um, the movie that me and my dad and my brother were going to go see was The Lord of the Rings, Return of the King. And uh, we were really amped up to see it. It was I believe it was opening weekend and it was a Saturday that we went, you know, because um, that was our days where we would usually go to the movies with my dad was on like Saturday. Or Friday sometimes, like Friday night, a couple times. But I remember it was a Saturday, and um, I remember that the movie theater didn't realize that they oversold the theater. So when they sold us our tickets, there was no seats in the theater. Now, that movie, by the way, is, um, <laughs> I want to say it's like three and a half hours long. In fact, I'm going to Google it while I'm talking right here. But um, it's an incredibly long movie, so yeah, I guess it's like three hours or three and a half hours. And um, so we get into the movies, uh, to the theater part, and we we find seats. And naturally, you know, me and my brother were just very fortunate to find seats. However, my dad couldn't find a seat at all, <laughs> so so um, he had to sit on the floor. And, and the floor was like, I mean, it's, it's a floor. It wasn't even carpeted. It was just a concrete floor. And, you know, there were steps, you know, so like to lead up to the aisles, you know, in the back. So he was sitting on the floor on one of these steps. And, um, I mean, it's not, it wasn't funny then, but it is funny now because, you know, my dad has passed away. Plus, you know, this was a really long time ago. So it's funny to think back about it. Um... What happened was, as he was sitting there, um, mind you, this is a very long movie again. So any time that people would, <laughs> they would, they would go to the bathroom, they wouldn't see him because they'd be watching the screen. <laughs> so they just kick my dad <laughs> as they were trying to leave the theater, and then you know they would just kick him. Like he got kicked about seven times during that movie. <laughs> And then, um, you know, it was just, it was just really cool. And, um, I mean, I felt bad for him, but it is kind of funny. And, you know, my dad had a great sense of humor. I know he's laughing like right now, or he would be laughing right now, uh, if I told him this story. And, um, but the funniest part was, and I don't know why, I mean, it's kind of sad, but it's funny to me, is when he went to stand up after watching that movie, uh, he couldn't stand up because he had been sitting down for so long that his like that his like muscles were just like asleep, and so it, it took him a good ten minutes to stand up out of that uh, after the movie and to walk out of the theater. I don't know. It was just one of the funniest things I've ever seen in my life. I felt bad for him, but it was also really funny. And, um, I mean, he's laughed about it, you know, uh, like years after, I mean, we've told that story a couple times and, and it always gets a laugh. 
So that was the first story that took place at Mega Movies with my dad. Now there's another story that also took place in Mega Movies. Uh, I believe this was a couple years earlier or a couple of years after. This next story is, is also kind of funny too. Because, well, well anyways... We were going to the movies um, on this one particular day. I don't remember what day it was, but I do remember that we didn't know what we wanted to see. You know, uh, neither my and it was me, my brother, Robert, and my dad again. And we didn't. We had no idea what we wanted to see, so we just said, "Well, when we get there, we'll take a look at the screen." So, and you know how they have those pamphlets that give you a synopsis of every movie that's out, and it tells you like what actors in it. They had those there too, plus the posters. So we'd settled on seeing, and my mom remembers this because she got she was she was upset with my dad. I mean, uh, with understandably, because uh, I was like, I want to say twelve years old, and we decided to see that movie From Hell, starring Johnny Depp, where he's an inspector or an investigator in London in Whitechapel around the time of the Jack the Ripper slayings. Uh, it was a horror movie. Really good movie, from what I remember. Scary. Creepy. But, um... So we wanted to see that movie. And my dad had brought coupons <laughs> for the movie, which I guess had, like, expired or something. But I remember that the, the cashier was giving my dad, like, an unnecessarily grueling hard time about the expiration date on these things. I mean, it, it, it was probably expired for, like, a day or it expired on that day I think it might have actually expired on that day and he didn't want to honor it so he's like no no buddy my dad I've never seen my dad get get so upset but like it was you know it was understandable now I mean because the guy was being mean to my dad so he's like no buddy and by the way this isn't like a north thing if you're from up north you, you call people like buddy or guy he's like no buddy I want to talk to your manager guy Send your manager out here right now, guy. And, um, I don't know. It was just funny. You know, the kid was probably, like, my age now. You know, 24 or less. Maybe, like, 22. Because he was arguing with the guy and he's, uh, being, using some language with the guy. Not towards the guy, but he's like, these tickets, buddy. And, you know, he's calling them buddy, but he's also saying all this other stuff. I don't know, it's just, like, a stark contradiction. <laughs> And it just, uh, I laughed. So anyways, guys, that's it for today of the story time. Actually, coffee break. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to try to do one of these videos every single week. So I actually have 52 topics already written out. So I have enough material and enough stories already figured out to tell you for one full year. Lord willing. Um, let's see what else. That's pretty much it, guys. I hope you enjoyed the stories. See me next week. I'm also working on those music videos for uh, Life in Decline and Same Routine. Plus, my mom's birthday is coming up on Thursday, June 8th. So, I'm also planning that. Uh, but I want to thank everybody out there for watching. And if you had fun with me today and you want to keep hanging out with me, do me a favor and like and share this video. Also, don't forget to comment and subscribe. You can subscribe by clicking the red subscribe button below or by clicking on the cigarette burn insignia in the lower right hand corner of this video. And if you do all four of those, well that's good karma for you my friends. My name is Max, thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you next time for a coffee break.